Good evening. A rescue operation is underway in the channel between Calais and Dover tonight. It's reported dozens of migrants have died while trying to cross in an inflatable dinghy. The boat went down off the coast of Calais. French police say as many as 30 bodies have been recovered. Live now to Dover and our reporter Sarah Saunders. Terribly sad, Sarah. What more can you tell us, please? Well, it's thought that up to 40 people might have been aboard that inflatable dinghy that had sunk off the French coast. The alarm was originally raised by French fishermen, one of whom saw one dinghy with migrants aboard, another floating with no people on it, but people floating in the water. It was originally thought the death toll might be around five people, but sadly, over the last hour or so, that has been consistently revised upwards. It now stands at around 29 or 30. Well, the French Interior Minister spoke of his deep emotion. He is headed toward Calais, where the rescue operation is going on. The French Prime Minister has spoken of this as a tragedy. Today, migrant welfare groups told us that they have long feared an incident on this scale. Absolute shock and horror. Um, that there's never been anything of this magnitude in the channel before. And the thought that people who have suffered so much, who have probably escaped from horrific situations to get all this way and then die at our border um, is tragic beyond words. It really is. Um, it's just, it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. And Sarah, presumably this operation will continue throughout the night. Yes, it looks as though it will. Both British and French authorities have been involved in this rescue operation. They've been using helicopters and Coast Guard vessels, but of course it is now dark and it's getting colder. But the rescue operation does continue in the hope that the death toll will not continue to rise. However, it's thought there are still at least five people missing. An absolute tragedy. Sarah Saunders in Dover. Thank you. I think that gives a sense of the seriousness that he will want to be seen to be getting a grip of this situation himself. We'll never find out exactly who is sitting around that cabinet office room table, but almost certainly the Home Secretary will be there. Also the Minister for Immigration and Migration with particular focus on the channel. We also know there's the clandestine channel commander, which is a government appointment of a former military man whose job it is, is to liaise with the French authorities to try and limit the number of crossings. He's almost certainly likely to be there too. There'll also be representatives of the Ministry of Defence uh, as well as other government agencies. And we have had many warnings, haven't we, over the past few years about how dangerous the crossing is, particularly in cold times and particularly as we head into winter with uh, earlier darker nights. Uh, and this is a worry that the government has had, but actually the Home Secretary Priti Patel is coming under increasing pressure, and it's really been building here during the past week or so in Westminster. There is growing anger uh, amongst MPs, particularly MPs who represent a number of Kent constituencies, and they're getting increasingly angry that the uh, Home Secretary talks a lot, talks very tough about trying to end these crossings, trying to stop the boats leaving the uh, French beaches and starting that very dangerous journey uh, 22 miles or so across the channel. But what MPs want to see is more action. They believe the Home Secretary wants to stop it, but they are getting incredibly angry that actually uh, there doesn't see, that doesn't seem to be happening. Tonight, Labour says that now politicians must redouble their efforts to prevent people risking their lives in these perilous journeys. I think tomorrow there will be an update in the House of Commons about exactly what the government is doing and giving MPs the very latest on the situation just off the French coast. But certainly here tonight, a lot of concern. We expect to hear from Boris Johnson in the next hour or so about what he's hoping to do in the short term to prevent more deaths on channel crossings, but also a lot of anger. A lot of MPs want these crossings to stop altogether. David Wood, Westminster, thank you with the, the victims and, and their families and uh, it's a, an appalling thing that they have uh, that they have suffered but I also want to say that this disaster underscores how dangerous it is to cross the channel in this way and it also shows how vital it is that we now step up our efforts to break the business model of the gangsters who are sending people to sea uh, in this way 
And we've also had reaction from the Dover MP, Natalie Elphick, who is calling for a change of policy. There are safe and legal routes to the UK. This is about people smuggling. It's about the trade in smuggling people unlawfully into the UK. And that's what needs to be tackled. And people smugglers do not care about the lives they put at risk. And we've seen today with horrendous consequences what happens when you're in the hands of people smugglers in wintry, dangerous seas in these treacherous conditions. It needs to be tackled to save lives. And the best way to save lives is to keep people safe in France and not let them get into these dangerous boats in the hands of people who do not care if they live or die. We're coming up on the National News and you up to date with all developments on our website.